environmental concerns. In this lesson, pollution, air, water, land, waste, controlling pollution, reduce, reuse and recycle. Our natural environment consists of all living and non-living things that surround us. It includes plants, animals, human beings, air, water, rocks, mineral and soil. It is very important to keep our environment clean so that we can live a happy and healthy life. The increase in population has resulted in many changes in our environment. Trees are being cut down to make more land available for houses and factories. New factories are being set up to meet the increasing demands of human beings. More and more vehicles on the road have increased the amount of smoke produced. All this leads to pollution. Thus, humans are polluting land, air and water to meet their increasing requirements. Pollution Pollution means the presence of undesirable products or substances in air, water and land which are harmful for living things. Substances which cause pollution are called pollutants. There are mainly three kinds of pollution. Air pollution. Water pollution. Soil or land pollution. Air pollution. Poisonous gases like carbon monoxide emitted by vehicles and factories pollute the air. Due to increasing number of vehicles and industrial units, clean air is getting polluted. Burning of fuels such as coal and petroleum, exhaust from factories, vehicles and power plants are the major sources of air pollution. We need clean air to breathe. Polluted air is very harmful. It can cause irritation in the eyes breathing problems, and various other health problems in living things. It can also cause great harm to plants and trees. Water pollution Dirty water from our homes and factories goes into the drains. The drains carrying dirty water in turn flow into rivers. This dirty water contains soaps, detergents and chemicals. Many people take bath, wash their utensils and clothes in rivers and pollute them. Fertilizers and pesticides used by farmers seep into the soil and get mixed with water. When the runoff water from fields mixes with water in rivers and lakes, it pollutes them. All this leads to water pollution which is dangerous for all living things. Many harmful microorganisms grow in polluted water which can cause diseases like dysentery, typhoid and jaundice. Poisonous chemicals and fertilizers affect aquatic life and kill fish and other animals. Eating these fish can also harm human beings. Land pollution When harmful or undesirable substances get mixed with soil, it is called land pollution. Land pollution is caused by household wastes as well as industrial and agricultural wastes. Agricultural waste includes excess chemical fertilizers and pesticides and chemicals used to kill pests and weeds. Waste Anything which is of no use is called waste. We throw many such things into the dustbins daily. Wastes are of two types, biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Biodegradable waste Some wastes like fruit and vegetable peels, leaves. Paper and wood products, animal and human excreta decompose and rot easily and get mixed with soil. They are called biodegradable waste. These wastes can be converted into biogas which is a clean fuel. Non-biodegradable waste. Some waste products do not rot or decompose. They remain in the soil for a very long time and pollute it. Examples are glass, plastic. Metal items obtained from non-living things. They are called non-biodegradable waste which is very harmful for our environment if not disposed of properly. Controlling pollution. Pollution is growing at an alarming rate. We need to control it urgently. If we do not do so, the earth may not be a healthy place to live in for future generations. The main problem is disposal of waste. A large amount of waste is produced in our homes, 
schools, offices and factories every day. There is not enough place to dump it. Hence, waste management is very important. Each one of us must contribute towards it. Dispose of wet waste and dry waste separately. Dry waste can be burned smokelessly or recycled, whereas, wet waste should be taken to decomposing centers. The authorities must dump the decomposed waste in specially constructed pits or landfills where it can be converted into manure or compost. We must not use plastic bags. We should use cloth and jute bags instead. Plastic bags are non-biodegradable. When they remain in soil for long, they release poisonous chemicals which harm the soil. They also block the drains. This stops the flow of dirty water making it an ideal place for breeding of mosquitoes. This results in the spread of diseases. Plastic covers the topsoil and prevents air and water from entering the soil, causing damage to the soil and the environment. That is why our government has banned the use of plastic bags. Factories should have tall chimneys fitted with filters to release gases and smoke high up so that they may not harm human beings, animals and plant life. Emission of smoke from motor vehicles should be checked. Vehicles should be regularly checked for pollution control. We must get our vehicles fitted with CNG or LPG kits as they are non-polluting fuels. Sewage water should be disposed of into seas, rivers or lakes but only after it has been treated in sewage treatment plants to make it less harmful for aquatic life. Reduce, reuse and recycle, 3 rupees. We can save our environment by following the 3 RS reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduce. Use less of those things that are difficult to dispose. Avoid use of plastic bags as they are difficult to dispose of. We must say no to plastic bags and carry our own cotton or jute bags for shopping. Do not accept your purchases in plastic bags given by shopkeepers. Use pool vehicles while going to office. Electricity production is a highly polluting process. So use electricity with care. Switch off the fans and lights when leaving the room. Reuse. Reuse means putting waste into some other use. Try to find out new ways of using things. Use both sides of a paper. Donate your old clothes, shoes, books, toys, etc. To orphanages or charity organizations. Empty cans can be used as pen holders by decorating them with colored paper or cloth. Carry bags and envelopes can be made from waste paper. We should use things and materials which can be used again and again. Recycle Recycle means to process the waste materials and make new products out of them. There are some plastics that can be recycled and used for making buckets, flower pots and even garden furniture. Waste paper can be converted into pulp, recycled and made into paper again. Some types of glass and metals can also be recycled. Recycling will help in reducing waste. Both biodegradable and non-biodegradable products can be recycled. Symbol of Recycle